Hello everyone, are you looking to ruin your Minecraft experience with an unlimited amount of overpowered power? Well, do I have the thing for you. It's the worst hack client. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the worst hack client. This thing will make you very good at the game, even if you are terrible at the game. You can simply walk around like an absolute beginner noob with just a few buttons uh, pressed down. And even in survival mode, you can... You can move around with absolute terrifying speed and precision and defeat all of your enemies, whether they be players or mobs, with simple keystrokes. It, uh, it's beginner baby mode. You can press right control to get to all the hacks, you can press escape to get out of them. There's shortcut keys. It's super useful. So first we're going to go to the worst website here. I'm going to scroll down until we hit this little dark grey button here that should say 1.21.5. Go ahead and click that. It should give you a prompt of where you want to save it. We can go ahead and save that in the downloads folder. Once we've done that we can head over to the Minecraft Fabric installer and just click this little download for Windows button. And that should give us a prompt to save the installer for Minecraft Fabric. Uh, to our downloads folder, we just go ahead and click this. Should give us a little exe. We can save this in the downloads folder as well. And that is everything that we're going to need to download. All right. So now that you've gone ahead and done that, you can go ahead and open up your downloads folder, and in there we should have the worst client itself and the fabric installer. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is just double click the fabric installer which is going to open a little window which will prompt us to install fabric which is necessary in order to run the hacked client within the game. It's going to go ahead and wait for that to load and it should be set to the default settings just leave everything as it is and hit install and it should say OK successfully installed. You can go ahead and delete uh, the fabric installer now. Let's go ahead and get rid of all that we don't need that anymore and we can go ahead and press Windows key and R that's Windows key plus the letter R and then we can type in here percentage app data percentage now hit enter and this should open the location of dot minecraft we can go ahead and open that up there and now we can go ahead and find the folder that says mods it should say MODS if you do not have one just create a new folder that's named mods if uh, this is the first time you're doing it. Now if you have any other sorts of mods in here you are going to want to um, you're going to want to move everything out of the mods folder and just store it somewhere else and then you're going to go ahead and drag the worst client in. One other thing that hasn't normally been an issue uh, is the fabric API. Uh, in this instance of 1.20.5 you are also actually going to want to go ahead and download the fabric API from the same page that the worst client is in. Let's go ahead and save that to the downloads folder and we're going to go ahead and press Windows key and R again and then type in percentage app data percentage and then hit enter and we're going to go ahead and open up the .minecraft folder and then the .mods folder and we are going to drag the fabric API from the downloads folder into here. You can just go ahead and open up the downloads. If we go here, open the downloads folder, it's taking a little bit longer than it normally does. Go ahead and drag the fabric API into the folder with it. We can go ahead and cross this off now and we're done with all of that. Alright, so once you've gone ahead and loaded this up, it should say Minecraft 1.21.5 fabric. You can go ahead and go into a single player world now, or a multiplayer world, this will work on multiplayer, just use it at your own risk. Um, you can go into a world like, for example, this one, which is called Stop Stealing My Worlds, which was named after all the worlds that mysteriously go missing from my Minecraft game whenever there's a Microsoft Minecraft update. Don't know why that is, but they disappear left, right and center, all over the place. Anyway, once you've gone ahead and loaded up this world, which is eventually going to load here, it's taking a little while, we are going to have access to all of the additional hacks. So to open the menu, what you're going to go ahead and do is press the right control button. I repeat, the right control button. That should open, I'm just checking, is this actually recording? I think it's recording. Alright, <laughs> so once you've got this menu here, we're going to have a bunch of these little boxes. You can hold down your regular break block uh, mouse key to move these around and you can hit this little red arrow to make them disappear and the little green arrow to make it come back 
and to turn a hack on you just simply click on the hack that you want to enable the main one is the UI settings and the worst logo which you're going to want to go ahead and disable normally and to get out of the hack menu just go ahead and press escape uh, some very basic shortcut keys you're going to want to know are the X key which is just press X and this will instantly give you X-ray where you can see through pretty much everything to the valuable blocks within the game press X again that goes away you can press U and this allows you to free cam which basically allows you to essentially astral project out of your body and zoom around see what's around you can see all of my my random builds here and then you can just go ahead and press U again to return to your body uh, there's also kill aura is uh, K and mo uh, sorry kill aura is R is it K? No, it's K. And then R is multi aura, which is like kill aura but better. Uh, and there's also G. If we tap G, that's going to give us flight even in survival mode. I don't really need to demonstrate that. Uh, it's just sort of a given. And C is Fulbright. So if you want to be able to see in the dark, just press the letter C. That's going to solve that problem. There's a bunch of other hotkeys. If you want to see all of the different settings, you can press escape and go into the worst options. And you can check on the key binds. Here we, you will find all the different things. Just pre careful not to press N when you're in creative because uh, that will go nuka and it will just destroy all your builds if you're not careful. I've done that many times. Uh, but it can be quite useful. J is the Jesus hack. And yeah, that's pretty much all of them. <laughs> you don't really need to know any more of them than that. Those are the most useful. And that is all you need to know about the worst hack client. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day or night, depending on where you are in the world. See you in the next one. Goodbye.